Friday night baseball now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Tonight game two of this four game weekend set between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. The Blue Jays are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Chris Sale will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. What's your take on him Dan. Hey Matt this guy's been throwing the ball really well he picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. So digging in now Kevin Pillar he'll get us started in this one hey, under I'm the lights. Center fielder number 11 Kevin Pillar. Sales ready here's the first pitch. Underway in the second of four here this weekend as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven game winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four out of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. And it's two balls and a strike to the Jays' leadoff batter. The 2 1 home. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3 and 1 now. The 3 1. 3 and 2 now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Now, a moment as we take a look at the Jays' starting nine for this one. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup and how they continue the winning streak. Matty, this team has high batting averages up and down the lineup, just great approaches consistent ABs from top to bottom and that's the reason they've been so successful this year. Stepping in for the Jays a Ledmus Diaz and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. First pitch on its way. Takes a knee high fastball. Boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 2 now. Hey, that two seam fastball is going to be the be all end all of this game right here. Who's going to execute? Is the pitcher going to be able to keep going to that well, or is the offense going to be able to make an adjustment and hit that ball in the gap? And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a two two count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full three and two. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah Matty Clyde's my type of umpire I didn't mind the low strike zone and that's exactly what he has if you're not going to give him above the belt I'm OK with Dero. You. you know one of the things I guess with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire pitchers seem to like him more than hitters but one thing I will say he has a very consistent zone it's a low zone but a consistent zone takes this the other way to right and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Hey guys that's an excellent piece of hitting right there. A good change up down and away gives most batters problems. But trying to think the other way from an offensive standpoint, excellent job. Digging in now, Josh Donaldson. Man at first for him following the one out single. He 
set and the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Donaldson, commonly known as the bringer of rain around the game, this is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. A ball and two strikes now. Diaz leads off first with one away. I always say Hitton's a process of elimination at the plate. I think he could go ahead and eliminate changeup. Two in a row back to back. I don't think there'll be a third. And it's fouled away. Here's another one two got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it two gone my man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days looking back at his last start he racked up nine K's and now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one and now the Toronto number four hitter Justin Smoke he's of course a long ball threat currently third in the American League in that category. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Lifetime against Chris Sale. He's got five base hits in 22 tries. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. Well clearly this guy doesn't need many warm up pitches because he's 98 miles an hour in the first inning news flash to the offense they better get it going. Here's the one one fastball close but he didn't get it two and one. Three balls and a strike now to smoke. Rendell Gritchick would be next. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Line to the right side, and Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Nothing for Toronto in their half of the first. Sox coming to bat. You've got it tuned in to MLB Network. Jay Happ is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Toronto. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, in his last start, he hit the magic milestone career win number 100 listen when you get into professional baseball and you start racking up wins the first goal is usually number 100 that's a nice even number to begin your career at the plate Mookie Betts it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball one. Look, well, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Maddie, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball two. Hey. Sliders in for a strike. Oh. 
Here now the 2-2. Two -two is looked at and the count moves full. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. There to take it in is Donaldson for the first down. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. So the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Pierce is there and he has it for the out. Here's Xander Bogarts now in past meetings with Jay Happ. He's got three base hits in 24 at bats. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. A high fastball is in there. That pitch up in the zone called the strike and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit though that fastball that's high in the zone. Stays alive still 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is pop foul but perhaps playable behind first. Smoke will range over to make the catch just beyond the first base dugout and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Here's Randall Gritchick and he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Woo! Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. As a veteran pitcher, he knows if he's going to have success in this one, he's got to establish that pitch in to get those guys to respect it and open up that outer half of the plate. 2 0 -oh count, the pitch. 3 and 0 oh now. Set to deliver on 3 0. And he fouls this one off. Sail into the windup. Here's the 3 1. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Batting six, left fielder, Steve Pierce. Next to bat for Toronto, Steve Pierce. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. First delivery to him on the way. And a slider on the inside for strike one. You know from an offensive standpoint they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher but if he's going to locate like that this is going to be a tough day. Now a 
will step off and fire to the bag. And he'll dive back in safely. Oh one, here's the pitch. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now the 2 1. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Richard on at first, nobody out. low so a good eye there as he works the count back full on deck there you see Troy to Lewitsky swing and he puts a charge into this one high and deep and you can't forget about it this ball is gone So a two run homer down the line in right field sixth home run on the season for him as the Blue Jays take a two to nothing advantage. They call that the pesky pole down there. It's only three hundred and two feet away. But this ball somehow stays fair and clanks right off of it for a homer. I'm sure the guy in the mound has a different name for that pole, but I'm not sure we could say that on the air. Here's Troy Tulowitzki now, and there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. Here's the first pitch to him. Missed with a slider. Lifetime against Chris Sale. He's got three base hits in 16 tries. He's taken him deep once. The 1 0 is a well located fastball down around the knees. Base is empty here with nobody out. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff it should be your focus. Here's Kendry's Morales. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First pitch of the at bat. A high fastball is in there. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting ninth, the catcher number 55. Russell Coming to the plate Martin. now, Russell Martin. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater. And this guy is obviously sitting something else. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box. No doubt about it. Ball taken there two and one now.
And the 2 1. Takes a knee high fastball. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Kevin Pilar would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Jays strike for a couple as you get another look at the two run dinger. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2 0 Blue Jays. Here's J.D. Martinez in past meetings with Jay Happ. He's a 300 hitter, 3 for 10. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. The wind up and the 0-1. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Martinez swings a bat and throws from the right side and stands at six foot three. He was a 20th round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. The one two a swing and a ground ball to third throw on to first in time one away. All right guys here's the defensive alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today and the guy behind the dish today Canadian born Russell Martin. He's been a catcher his entire career but I'll tell you what some of the softest hands in the game this guy could easily play an infield position and he wouldn't skip a beat. Stepping up to the plate, Domingo Santana. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 2. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Misses, that's ball one. One ball, two straight. One out, nobody on. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Rafael Devers the next to bat. Batting average down in the low two tens. Five homers and 21 driven in. And that misses one and one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. And this is fouled at the plate. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Count even at 2 and 2. 
it 2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Pilar's there. And the inning is over. Red Sox go down 1 2 3. They're still down. It's 2 0. Digging in for his second at bat, Kevin Pilar. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that one just missed outside. That's a really tough pitch to do anything with. The backdoor slider just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. Now look out as this is whistled foul off to the right side. One and two, here it comes. Two and two. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. And this guy loves to throw the slider. And it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. Ready for another chance. Aledmus Diaz, a base hit in his first trip. First offering on its way. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. No batter, no batter. We got him. Pilar aboard here at first with nobody out. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. And it's fouled away. Come on, Boston! And another foul ball. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Betts has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Riding in once again, Josh Donaldson, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. And he'll snap one over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Here comes the first pitch. Now started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. We're only in the third inning and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. A swinging a strike and now it's 0 and 2. Slider, ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Here comes the one two from Sale. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now.
the 2 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Up next for the Blue Jays. Here's Justin Thanks, Smoke now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a snap move over to first. And he's back in standing. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Mm, nope. Two and zero. Oh. A runner on first with two away. A two and one count to the Blue Jays' first baseman. Pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. On, the two two. Go. Two two pitch just missed. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Two out with the man at first. Strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. One left for Toronto, but they hold a 2 0 lead. Here's Jackie Bradley now, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here comes the first pitch. And a half hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Outside for a ball, one and one. Looped down towards short. Throw on to first by Chulowitzki is in time for route number one. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Riding in for Boston, Eduardo Nunez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Yeah, there are a couple of things you don't want to do as a visiting pitcher. Never give the home crowd a reason to get involved early, and don't put guys on base to ignite a big inning. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. We'll see how he responds. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. In past meetings with Jay Happ, is 4 for 14. First pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in to second for one. On the smoke. It's a double play, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the top of inning number four. The Jays are out in front, two to nothing. 
Stepping up now, Rendell Britcher. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. Sale gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Really? What? Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bet's coming on. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Steve Pierce. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And this is high, a ball and a strike. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. The one two. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And it's off the green monster. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, when you're hitting the ball as well as he is, every time you swing the bat, you're thinking the ball's leaving the ballpark. He had a home run last time, and he almost had another one here. Nothing wrong with a double off the wall, though. In now, Troy Tulowitzki. He swings and grounds it to short. Bogarts to his left. He's there. Throw. Got him. And that's a gorgeous play. Now batting. Designated Coming hitter. forward now, the Henry. Toronto designated hitter, Henry's Morales. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One and one. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. One and one, here it comes. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Pierce on third with two out. Popped him up. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The next one two pitch one two is an off speed pitch no dice it's two and two when a pitch is close to working through a quick inning that's when you really need to grind out some at bats he's done a good job of that and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order full count now from Morales well I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs. So getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Pitch popped up. Devers waits on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One hit, one left. 
On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Blue Jays two and the Red Sox nothing. Here's Mookie Betts. Living up report for the Red Sox. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. They wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Betts, who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Maddie, there's three dates the time you get called up, and the time you get to arbitration, and one when you finally hit free agency, where you have a chance to truly enjoy this game and get paid for all the hard work. And this is the start of it. The arbitration process allows these guys to finally finally start making some real dollars in this game. There's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Looking at his lifetime numbers Pedroia has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. On its way the 0 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. Smoke is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Next up for the Red Sox, Sander Bogarts. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat. No balls in one strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Missed with a slider. The one two. To two balls and two strikes now. No runs just one hit and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Betts is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate. As they cut their deficit in half, it's a two to one game now. Hey, we're in the middle of this one already, D Row. They finally score a run, and they've had a tough time scoring some runs. Yeah, after taking it on the chin yesterday, it's nice to finally break through. Maybe this gives the offense the confidence it needs. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez. Pitch out, nothing doing. A 1 0 delivery. Ground ball, foul down the left side. Runner at first here, one man out. in the air down the right field line and foul the one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch Into the box now, Domingo Santana, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. 
Santana, formerly property of the Milwaukee Brewers. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. And he'll be tagged out at second base, trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Russell Martin now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Russell Martin. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Sail into the windup. Here's the nothing and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. And now back to the leadoff Kevin spot in the Blue Jays Pilar. lineup and stepping in Kevin Pillar. Last time up he was hit by a pitch. Go back to Serrano, Blue Jays. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate and away there one ball no strikes. Now the 1 0. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter, number one. Second base. Ready once again, Aledmus Diaz. One for two with the base hit back in the first inning of play. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Way in front of a great slider that time. He's certainly done an amazing job right here grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three four five with no one on base next inning. That misses wide one ball and one strike. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They still lead it two to one. Leading off the inning, Domingo Santana, and they'll need him to get something going here. Domingo Santana. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Richard sprinting after it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Slice hard but foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. There's a strike. Oh, 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way to do it. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Here's one hit softly down the line in left. Foul comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the 0 1. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. Bradley could be a part of a trade at some point in the near future at least that's what the rumors say and we'll see if that ends up being the case. But it sounds like the Yankees are potentially interested suitors for his services. Yeah I think the team that acquires them knows that this is probably a rental situation. They'll have the opportunity to sign him in free agency but they're looking for a boost for this ball club and he certainly can provide that. Fifth inning two to one our score. There we go guys come on. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Pilar. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down 2 1. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Leading off for the Blue Jays, third baseman, John. Donald, he's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2 0 as they bunch him up inside. It's 2 1 now. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. In there on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now, three and two. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back door. Now the payoff pitch home. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Here's Justin Smoke now. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. Called strike at the knees, evens the count at one and one. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Vasquez corrals it, and he makes the throw to first. Smoke is retired, two down now. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now.
Here's Randall Gritcher. She'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. Gritcher, a native Texan. He's a five year vet at the major league level. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. Digging in for his second at bat, Eduardo Nunez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1. Missed with a breaking ball. One ball, one strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Is ball taken two. for ball two. two ball, one strike, the count. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You gotta find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. Soft liner towards short, but there to take it in is Tulowitzki, and that's the first down of the inning. Riding in once again, Christian Vasquez. First delivery to him on the way. Right over the middle, knee high. Bases are empty, one man out. Come on, and another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0 and 2. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Here's Mookie Betts. First offering on its way. And that one just missed outside. One ball. No strike. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in a wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Hit hard to short. Up with it now is Tulowitzki. Throw on to smoke at first and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They still trail it here two to one.
welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Seventh inning coming up with the Jays out in front as we give you a look at our game summary to this point. Tyler Thornburg is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Tyler Thornburg. Here's Steve Pierce now. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, when you hear people talk about the unwritten rules of baseball, I think we just saw a perfect example of that. You hit one of mine, and I'm going to hit one of yours. Always been that way, and probably always will be, even though they've tried to crack down on that kind of stuff recently. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And danger now is standing in as the fine shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki. First pitch coming here it is right hander against right hander as this is a ball one and oh love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball I know he hit the last guy but if he's going to have success he's got to establish that pitch in a little bouncer but it's foul strike one. Pierce gets his lead at first nobody out. If I'm on the mound right now I know I'm in the hitters head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. On to comes up empty there as he swings and misses for the first down. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Here's Kendry's Morales. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now, about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there double play situation, two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind the count, two and zero. Oh. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Here it is. The three zero oh is in there for strike one. Three one line drive and that's a base hit in the center field. And the screen shows the story right there because that hitting streak will live to see another day. Standing in now, Russell Martin, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Squared that one up just a little late.
in the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup stepping in Kevin Pillar. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Come on, Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch and this is low ball one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Ball. And he falls behind now. Two and oh. Boy he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. The 2 0 -oh on the way. He is swung on and missed strike one. Slow bouncer to the right side. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Blue Jays leave a pair as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Ready once again, Dustin Pedroia. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The first pitch to him. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to play it is Gritchick, and that's the first down. Number two, Sander Bogart. Digging in to try it again. Sander Bogarts. A fly out and a single for him so far. First delivery to him on the way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. One of the keys to pitching late in the game's first pitch strikes, and this guy's rolling along. So far, over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes. A wind up and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there, and that's the second out of the inning. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. 0 and 1 the count. Here comes the 0 1. And a neck high fastball that time. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. And there's ball two now. Two out, nobody on. Three and one to Martinez. Domingo Santana would be next. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. 
So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound. And that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Blue Jays, number 62, Aaron Moody. Domingo Santana will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Here comes the first pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Rounded back up the middle, and that'll get on past Kulowitzki. It's a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, Rafael Devers. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. No hits to this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Nope. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2 0. Oh. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. This one skied out toward right. Richard will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. A good performance there by the Toronto bullpen. Eighth inning coming up. The Blue Jays on top, two to one. Matt Barnes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Matt Barnes. And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Second baseman. Here's the first pitch to him. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. This misses as well, so it goes to 2 0 now on the Jays shortstop. Go back in Toronto, Blue Jays. Down low, and the plot no thickens straight. here 3 and 0. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Ready for another chance. Josh Donaldson career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's batting at a 385 clip.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1 and 0 oh the count. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him. The 1 0 -oh is looked at for ball number two. One thing's clear he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly, this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Three zero pitch finds the zone strike one. A check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four. How about it? The first he almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion he comes awfully close to breaking that plane but he was able to hold back strong wrist and he gets a trip to first because of it. Into the box, Justin Smoke, as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. All right, come on. Woo! Oh, and one count and the pitch. And a swing and a miss at a ball in the dirt. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. Woo! Good waste pitch, one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone, 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Diaz over at second. Donaldson on at first with nobody out. A bouncer up the middle. Loved by Bogarts. Pedroia on to first, the double play. Just a two hopper to short. Can't ask for anything easier than that, and they roll up your basic 6 4 3 double play. Into the box now, Rendell Richard. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance, and it's gone into the monster seats. Randall Gritchick, a two-run shot. Twelve home runs for him now thus far, as the Jays have opened it up now to four to one. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. 
Steve Pierce. We'll dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss okay. and he's in trouble now 0 and 2. I'd be shocked if you saw anything else but a fastball right here. He's blown those first two by him. Don't give this guy a chance to speed up his bat with something off speed. Owen, two count. Here's the pitch. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. And a fastball swung on and missed, and his side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up is now 4-1 to one in favor of the Jays. Ryan Tapera is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Next up for the Red Sox, Jackie Bradley Jr. And you may notice the usual closer is not in the game here with the save opportunity on the table. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt, so we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. That missed close. It's ball two. Not a great spot to be in right here 2 and 0 but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously a bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Huh. Two balls and a strike. Here's the 2 2. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Pierce over to his left, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Eduardo Nunez hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. First offering on its way. There's a strike. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Eighth inning four to one is our score. Two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0 2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Let's go, Red Sox. One and two, here it comes. Down the third baseline. Donaldson with a sliding stop. Touche, sir. 
And here's that one again, show Track. Great reactions to knock it down with a sliding stop. And almost just as impressive was the throw all the way across to beat the runner. Any way you look at it, a fantastic play. Ready for another shot now. Christian Vasquez. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. You can do it! He's set. Here it comes. And the first pitch is a slider here, but that's chopped foul at the plate. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hit. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail it 4-1. to one. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Robbie Scott enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here's Troy Tulowitzki now. He went down on strikes last time up. Troy Tulowitzki. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth oh. inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. The 1 0. Grounded to short. Bogarts has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter, number eight. Kendry. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Kendrys Morales. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. And a fastball's off the plate away, it's ball one. One zero, a swinging bunt to the mound. On to first, and there were two down. The catcher number fifty-five, Russell Martin. Russell Martin now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. Called strike on the inside corner. Looking at his career totals, Martin brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Blue Jays go down in order, but they lead it four to one. Here's Mookie Betts. He was a ground out victim last time up. Leading off the bottom of the ninth for the Red Sox. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. 
Jay Happ would be in line for the victory should the score hold. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Fouled off. Another 0 2. Missed with a slider. One and two. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with the slider. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead off guy anytime he gets on usually creates a problem. And you know what, Dio? It's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Anytime you get that leadoff guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. One ball, no strikes to count. Bets on at first, nobody out. Count now a ball and a strike. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. Next one two pitch. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Popped him up. Smoke is over and he puts it away for the first down. Danny Barnes comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Now pitching for Toronto, number 24, Danny. Xander Bogarts will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. the first offering there's a fastball that just misses ball one Barnes 28 years old he was taken in the very late rounds back in the 2010 first year player draft I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was my hats off to him now the 1 0 is laid off for ball two no Runners on first with one down. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3 0. Oh. J.D. Martinez is on deck. Three 0 pitch. 
It's laid off, but in there for strike one. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Here's J.D. Martinez. Over two with a walk for him so far. First offering on its way. Takes a knee-high fastball. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0 2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied. Three-run shot down the line in left, and we are tied again. Well, that one is definitely worth looking at again with our show track technology. It had plenty of distance to get out of the park, and you can see why when it's hit at 115 miles an hour. That's not something you see every day. Standing in now, Domingo Santana. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Up around the face. Takes a high fastball for a strike. One and two, here it comes. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. We know he's probably still thinking about that game tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the 0 1 and a pitch in the dirt as he lays off it's 1 and 1. Now the 1 and 1 pitch and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Smoke is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So hold everything as they catch lightning in a bottle here in the bottom of inning number nine and come back to tie this ball game. Tenth inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Kevin Pillar, he'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Kevin Pillar. Here's the first pitch to him. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. 
obviously it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth and now you're still fighting in extra innings but the fact is the game is tied and a win is still very much a possibility so they have to play that way and this one's tapped foul at home plate. The 1 1 home misses for the second ball. This is flared out towards second. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. That's grown man strength right there, able to take a fastball inside and muscle it out to center field for a base hit. And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. The 0 1. Now a bunt attempt here. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Stepping in for the Jays, Josh Donaldson, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Here's the first pitch. Ooh, good changeup, just missed inside. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Donaldson carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. The 1 0. 2 0. That was a non competitive pitch right there, and he finds himself behind 2 0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down the zone to get himself back in this count. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Now the 2 1. <laughs> Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Snuck that high, hard one by him without a swing, but. That's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Shut him down now. Here's the 2-2 pitch. And that one misses in the dirt. I know it's a guessing game but usually when you flip that coin it better come up fastball at this level you cannot be late right there that was right in the wheelhouse and now a pitch hit sharply on the ground but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two when you know a guy has a great change up on the mound you've got to be willing to give up full side of the plate from time to time it just looked like his timing was a smidge off fouled away go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that three two pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Here's Justin Smoke now. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. 
Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. A shot down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. The 0 1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1 and 1. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. The 1 and 1 pitch. Popped him up. Vasquez has a play. Two down. Digging in and looking for more, Rendell Richard has got a hit in three at bats to this point. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. Two balls and no strikes. And there's ball three. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. The 3 0. Zero. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Pilar at second. Donaldson on at first with two down. Come on, Boston. A full Come count, on. three and two to Randall Grichik. him out here for route number three so after a scoreless top half they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half no runs a hit two left so one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10 and we are tied 4-4 Andrew Benintendi is going to come in and pinch hit here as he's the potential winning run here in the bottom half of inning number 10 Slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. 268, the average for him coming in. 11 home runs and 54 runs batted in. Now the 1 0. It was a fastball that misses. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Two and one now. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Diaz brings it in. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Up next for the rest of the baseman, 
Riding in for Boston, Eduardo Nunez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Oh, yeah. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And a fastball just a bit up. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. And that slider is almost in the dirt. One out, nobody on. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. As a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Now here's the pitch. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. And the changeup is way low that time. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tapper up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. This game's all tied at four. Andrew Benintendi will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Now playing center field, number 16. Tommy Lane Andrew. takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 90, Tommy Lane. So digging in now, Steve Pierce, who has sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home plate. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away but either way it worked out well for him. That's a well thrown pitch though. And a good take there close but it's two and two. Just got a piece up the line. That's a foul ball. Here now the two two. Is laid off and the count runs full. There's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a tough pitch to lay off as a hitter, 
and a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those. How could he not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making his pitcher grind for everything. Now a shot sent off to the right side, but foul. Hey, we all love home runs and gaffers, but I love the mano y mano right here. Five foul balls Thank in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. So a runner at first now with nobody out and danger now is standing in as the fine shortstop Troy Tulowitzki. Here's the first pitch showing bunt here but he takes ball one in today's game if they're going to give you an out you take it you have to find a way to execute a pitch in the zone allow him to get the bunt down and take the out at first. The 1 0. And he pulls back the bunt attempt. 2 and 0. Now the 2 0 home is taken. Ball three. Kendry's Morales waits on deck. Three and one. Three balls, one straight. Yeah. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. <laughs> now the three and two pitch. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Back goes Betts to the track. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. As we take another look here, you can see it's a two seam fastball running away from him at the plate. So he does the smart thing, not trying to pull it or just rolling over it, just goes with it and has enough juice on it to drive it for a double. It looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force play is now in order. Digging in once again Russell Martin been a really tough one on him already wearing the golden sombrero with four strikeouts. Runner, Here's runner, the runner. first pitch and the squeeze is on here and he gets it down. Throw to the plate. Well we've been treated to a neck and neck game so far and the last thing anybody wants is for a misplayed ball to be the difference. But that's where we're at right now as the error leads to the go ahead run. Into the box Kevin Pillar turned on but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Tried to get him to go after the slider but it's one and one. One one misses above the zone for a ball. Well when the pressure starts to intensify it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Tulowitzki the runner at third Morales on second Martin at first with no outs. And a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. 
Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1, and, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. Next to bat for Toronto, Aledmus Diaz. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Bases loaded here, nobody out. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2 0, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. The 2 0. Sent out to straightaway center field. Waiting on it is Ben Intendi. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And a relay to the plate. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. One of the things you want to do as an offense, right, is stay fundamental and keep pushing. A great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. It was a walk in his last trip. from the stretch hit hard and caught down there at third had him played perfectly that time and there are two gone now now batting the first baseman Justin here's Justin Smoke now in his last at bat he popped out in foul ground here's the first pitch to him a breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Low of the fastball here in the dirty. It's ball one. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. Still even at two and two. Let's go, Red Sox. Here's the pitch on two and two. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Now another two two. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. hit ball to second throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired so three runs on just one base hit one Boston error and a couple of men left one last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now Toronto leads this one seven to four to Oscar Hernandez will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field now playing left field 
Number third, Tyler Clifford fakes the mound in a safe situation as he'll try and make sure this one doesn't reach the 12. Number 36, Tyler Clifford. Here's Mookie Betts. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And he misses with it one and one. One and two now. The one two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. In past history against Tyler Clifford, two hits in seven tries. First pitch of the at bat. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now. And Pedroia behind it a bit as he grounds this one to second. Throw on to first will take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Digging in once again, Sander Bogarts. First offering on its way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The 1-0 is taken. Strike one. Come on. Down the first baseline. Smoke scoops it up and he'll step on first for the out and the ball game is over. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings at work, but hey, listen, a win is a win and any win is good, especially on the road. 7 to 4 is the final score in tonight's game. The Jays get their 30th win on the road so far this season. Danny Barnes wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Tyler Clifford closes the door for the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.